How do you read words that have a vowel followed by an R? For example, like this word. In this lesson, you will learn how to read words with the R-controlled syllable OR by remembering they make the OR sound like in fork. Let's review. Take a look at your syllables chart. There are six types of syllables in the English language, and using the syllable rules can be helpful to read new or tricky words. R-controlled syllables are syllables that have a vowel followed by the letter R. The R changes the way the vowel sounds, creating a whole new sound. One common mistake is reading the R-controlled syllable with two separate sounds instead of as one new sound. So as an example, sometimes people see this word here and will sound it out f, a, er, far. But that doesn't make sense or sound like a word that we know. This word is actually for. In this lesson, we're going to focus on words with the OR syllable. Look at your vowel teams chart. Look at the example for OR. The picture is a fork, and we can use this to help us figure out what sound OR makes. Since we know that this word is fork, let's break it up into the sounds that we hear. F or k fork. So the OR says OR. Say it with me. OR says OR. Let's look at this word. I see the letters B, O, R, and N. I could try to sound it out since I know the sounds each of those letters make on their own. So let's try that. B, A, R, N, barn. That sounds kind of funny to me. It doesn't sound right. Let's see if there's any letters we could group together to change the sounds in this word. Oh yeah, I see an O and an R right next to each other. And I remember that I know that every word with the syllable OR makes the OR sound like in fork. So let's see. First, I'm going to look at this word from left to right. I notice that this word starts with a B, then it has a syllable OR, and it ends with an N. I remember that OR makes the OR sound like in fork. So since I know that B makes the B sound, and I remember the OR makes the OR sound, and N makes the N sound, I can read this word by blending the sounds together. B, or, n. Born. This word is born. Here are the steps I just did to read born. First, I looked at the word from left to right. When I did that, I noticed that it had an OR in it. And I remember that OR makes the OR sound, like in fork. Then I blended the first sound, b, with or, and last sound, n, to read the word, born. I blended all the sounds in the word together. Let's try it with another word. In this word, I see that it starts with a c, has the or syllable in the middle, and ends with a d. I know that c makes the k sound. I remember that or makes the or sound like in fork, and that d makes the d sound. When I blend those sounds together, I can read the word k or d. Cord. This word is cord. Here are the steps I just did to read cord. They're the same steps I used to read born. First, I looked at the word from left to right. When I did that, I noticed that the word had an or in it, and I remembered that or makes the or sound like in fork. Then, I blended the first sound with or, and the last sound, d, and read the word, cord. I blended all of the sounds in the word together. In this lesson, you have learned how to read words with the R-controlled syllable, or, by remembering they make the or sound like in fork.